Good morning, everybody. This is Nick Fisher with Explore Northwest Montana and Keller Williams Realty Northwest Montana. This beautiful October fall morning, I have some very important information for you guys. I'm going to do, give you a market update, some brief uh, statistics on what our marketplace looks like. I've got some neat, neat graphs and some information we can play, play around with um, to give you kind of a snapshot of what's going on in our marketplace. Um, that way, if you are considering buying or selling, um, either way, you can get a good grasp on kind of what's going on in our marketplace. This is um, essentially a, a groundbreaking time for our, our market. As that most people know, we have a lot of people moving in from out of state. And uh, because of that, we also have a lot of people moving <laughs> out of state. Um, so the information I'm going to show you today is uh, really focused on the Flathead Valley. Um, then I've also got... Uh, how that compares to the entire marketplace, which is um, the MLS for the entire state of Montana. <clears throat> so, um, try not to enjoy the colors too much. This is uh, off my back porch. I have some pumpkins over here that I took some time to stage that now you can't even see in the camera frame. Uh, but that's not relevant. Let's talk about our marketplace. So, <clears throat> here's what I've got for you, this first slide. This is current homes for sale. And the blue line that you see there is the marketplace. Um, that's the entire state of Montana. And the yellow line that you can see there is the Flathead Valley. And this graph shows year over year. Um, so over here on this side of the graph, we have uh, January, let's see, is that January? Yeah, January of 2017. You can see we had, during this time, we usually have a little over um, a thousand homes on the market, which is pretty typical. We see um, a lot of homes come on the market in the springtime, and then throughout the summer, most places go under contract, and we see um, a big dip in uh, new homes coming on the market. The school year slows down, uh, new listings, and um, if you look on this other side of the graph right here, this is where we are currently never seen this few homes on the market at one time i believe the actual number is 828 homes currently active on the market which is in the flathead valley which is um unheard of this is the lowest inventory we've had and if you look at the closely at the graph here we, there's rarely been a time where we've broken under a thousand um so you can see that <clears throat> There's not a lot of homes currently on the market. And this is, this is um, an important graph to show the correlation of what happens when we get a dip in um, active listings. Here we have a graph that shows the median sales price. And I, I know that um, it's kind of hard to read it when it's backwards, but uh, it's difficult for me to do the whole reverse camera thing and try and keep everybody on page. So I'm just gonna do it this way and uh, follow along with the sweet, sultry sound of my voice. We have median sales price again, January 2017 on this side of the graph. You can see that home values on average in our marketplace were about 225,000, and in the Flathead Valley, about 250,000. As most people know, the Flathead Valley is a really popular place. Um, people wanna live here. It's really close to all the recreation, the park, the mountain, the lakes, rivers, uh, you name it, we've got it here in the Flathead Valley. So because of that, what we're seeing on the other side of the graph here is an absolute spike in home values. This summer we had the biggest influx of out-of-state buyers that we've ever seen, people buying homes sight unseen, and what that does is creates a huge demand in our marketplace for homes, for active listings, and there's a gazillion buyers looking to get in, and what that does is it skyrockets the home values. So if we compare from 2017 in January, we're a little over 250,000 here in the Flathead Valley. And now we're looking at over 300,000, 350,000. And actually the number, the current average sales price, the median sales price is $360,000. Look at the appreciation. If you uh, are thinking about listing your home, now's the best time to sell. Um, just simply based on the increase the appreciation in home values it's a stark difference if you purchased your home three years ago you could potentially be sitting on a gold mine of equity but here's the issue 
before I go into that, let's take a look at one more graph here. And this is a graph that shows days on market, average days on market. If we look over here at 2017, we see about 45 days on average for the entire marketplace and 43 roughly days on market for the Flathead Valley. And look at how the graph changes over time. And um, this one's actually an active graph, so I can use my pen here to move the numbers around. If we look at January of 2020, the Flathead Valley was seeing about 42 days on average um, for days on the market. Let's bring this up to real time. September of 2020, that dropped all the way down to 31 days and 28 for the marketplace. Take a look at this dip here in the line from June. That's when quarantine ended. Down here to September. Here's our influx of out-of-state buyers, and you can see that directly correlate with, with our days on the market. So here's what this means, and I'll just give you a nice brief summary. If you're looking to list your house in Montana or the Flyhead Valley, now's the best time. Um, the issue that we're running into is that, of course, if you want to stay in the Flyhead Valley, you have to turn around and buy something, and everybody's home values have gone up. So while it's true that you may be sitting on a golden egg of equity, the trouble is getting you into something that is getting that equity out for you and then moving you into something that you can appreciate or that's an upgrade or a downgrade or finding your needs. Um, that being said, it's still not a bad time to be a buyer in the Flathead Valley because having this explosion of growth that we've had over the summer has produced um, a lot of new construction and a lot of properties have come on the market that haven't been on the market before. So something that you've been looking for for a long time is all of a sudden on the market. So if you're thinking about buying or selling, um, let's talk to a real estate professional of your choice. Um, I'm available, Nick Fisher, Keller Williams, of course, and uh, there's a ton of good agents in this valley all over the state of Montana that you can talk to. Um, if you ask me when's a good time to buy or when's a good time to sell, I'll tell you that there's no better time than yesterday. And, there's, and today is not too late to get you into the market. Um, the sooner we get started, the better it is, um, whether you're a buyer or a seller, either way, there's, there's plenty of stuff that we gotta do before we get you actually with your feet wet in the marketplace. Um, so with that being said, that's my brief market update. And hopefully everybody enjoys this beautiful fall weather. Um, Brianna and uh, one of our new members of Explore Northwest Montana are gonna have something really neat for you guys in store next week. Um, we do something way more fun than real estate market updates. So with that being said, I hope everybody has a great fall day and enjoys their weekend. Thanks, everybody, and have a good one.